subspecies of vampire. I must find a place to analyze the blood. Yeah, fuck, it's only dead. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that... Skull, you must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. <laughs> that well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Why we are stopped. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed. Take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Do I have a fucking choice? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. For some reason, every time the game like changes the scene, my screens go full black for a second. Probably the NVIDIA driver is fucked. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... 
Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. So I'm a specialist in blood. Is that what we're, we're getting here? Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your Edgar. assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Okay. Overly excited fellow. Oh, uh, what the fuck is this? Rotten or crested, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, try it all. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Okay, I can't. Now is the decision that I can take. Like, eat the fella or not. The blood quality indicates how much XP you obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Continue. Okay. Mesmerize. To drink blood for prey, you first need to mesmerize then and lead out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher from the citizen resistance. So this is the guy that I'm probably not gonna have an option, I will have to drink it. to embrace or be to release embracing clay will provide a massive bone massive XP boost but there will be consequence ah. let's take this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do in this episode so let's take into consideration I think it's gonna be the last thing I don't know how much the guy worth 500 XP not too much, I think. Because I probably don't know much about him. I'm gonna do the critical decision and release the fella. Like, spoiler warning, like uh, Professor Dumbledore, I'm gonna feed the little pig. Tonight, not like this. I will not take another life. 
and like it is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go but no famished hunter can run for long And literally, I let the guy die. Because. No medical fucking. I don't give a fuck. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. In the rain. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Well. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Oh, fuck. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Okay, second floor, let's go see my lovely place. And Siri decided there's something to talk in, so shut the fuck up, Siri, by the love of God. Good evening, Nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Dr. Do you think this hospital can survive the it epidemic? Not we are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. <laughs> Where are my keys today? I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Uh, that is anyone who stands out. Is there anyone that stands out? Well. I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. 
Okay, we know about someone and uh, let's pick it Nurse up. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Okay. Uh, that's all. Uh, I know. Goodbye, one. nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Probably is because the guy is right here. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. Fuck. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. I was on the war. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Your attitude is irresponsible, Doctor. Believe me, I've seen so many medical errors caused by exhaustion during the war. You're right. This is a war, Doctor Reed. And I don't intend to surrender. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Doctor Tippett. Let's see your officer for a while. Doctor Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Uh, this is the probably the place. Holy hell, they make the fucking thing fast? This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Really? The flower's dying. It needs water. There is gonna be probably some metaphor the fact and how this flower is doing for the fact that how I'm doing. Oh, the pre-order stuff. What the fuck? Hmm. Although I like the the hat, I'm gonna be with the normal clothing. First, let's kind of save.
Health for stamina, bite. Uh, increase the life regenerated when you're biting combat. It'll... What is this? Oh. For a minute I thought that I would summon, I don't know, hellhounds or something. And of course I'm gonna use this. No. Huh. And let's upgrade my health. Yeah, I could do this too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the episode and this recording session. So, see you guys next time. I'm going to decide if this is going to be a full let's play or if this was it. And I'm going to just release a video about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This was the video, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you for watching. And as always, there will be other channels and some links on the description for you to check it out. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. And if you want to see what comes next, please do a subscribe. As always, I thank you for watching and see you next video.